Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Slice Plays Triangle Strategy. Let's go ahead and get right into uh, Chapter 3, Part 2. Zaranoa, acting as King Regna's envoy, charts a course down the Norzelia River for the Duchy of Esfrost. Ere long, Saranoa and crew arrive at a massive gate, itself dwarfed by the snow-covered mountains that lie beyond. Awaiting them at Twins Gate, as it is known, is Farag Esfrost, second in power and influence only to the Archduke himself. Chapter 3, Part 2. A land of snow and ice. We're in Game of Thrones. Laura, Erica, Thallus, welcome home. I trust the ceremony was a fruitful one. Twas my duty as minister to be present. Thank you for having us in your domain, Uncle. The crags are lovely as ever. Oh, that's a spelling of domain. Okay. <sighs> oh, he doesn't like him Lord either. Sparrow, Let's go. I present to you Lord Serenoa Woolfort. Come on behalf of King Regna. Ah, the Woolfort boy. Frederica's betrothed, yes? The very same, my lord. I thank you for the warm welcome. The honor is mine, Lord Saranoa. Svarog Esfrost at your service. I watch over Twinsgate, the front door of our duchy. Lord Svarog is father to Dragan and uncle to the Archduke and myself. Ooh, we did okay. not expect to see you again so soon, Frederica. But I understand wanting to show off your handsome groom-to-be. Uncle, please. You embarrass me. <laughs> Good to see you're still not afraid to speak your mind. A word of advice, lad. You do well not to anger her. I shall take your words to heart. It is quite the burden you're undertaking, my friend. Prince Roland, I did not expect you'd be in attendance. It's been quite some time, Lord Svarog, but today I come as an attendant to House Wolfort. A secret visit, then. Say no more. King Regna thanks Lord Dragan for all he has done for the mining effort. His engineering prowess has proved indispensable as his boasting has no doubt proved intolerable. Forgive the boy, my lord. That said, rest assured his goals are sincere. He truly does wish to lead us into a new era. I pray you'll lend him the strength to see that it becomes a reality. You have my word. You expect great things from him, then? Against my better instincts, perhaps. But such is my lot as the boy's father. But forgive me. No doubt you are weary from your journey. I shall keep you no longer. Archduke Gustadolf awaits you at Ironstone. Then we shall take our leave. Thank you, Lord Svarog. I like him. I like Svarog. He seems super honest. All right, next step. House Wolford arrives at Ironstone, where they are greeted by Archduke Gustadolf. Alright, so this guy's super important, so we want to get on his good side, I guess. Archduke of Esfrost, allow me to personally welcome you to my nation. 
I hear I am addressing the new Lord of House Wolfort. Yes? Sarah Noah Wolfort, Your Grace. It is an honor to have an audience with you. On behalf of King Regna and all of Glenbrook, you have our sincere gratitude for your generous contributions to the mining effort. Consider your gratitude accepted. Avlora informs me that you fought well in the tourney. I would much like to see for myself how the legendary Simon's son carries himself in battle. I train twice as hard, yet am not half the warrior he is. Mm, it is good that humble, you make such humble. effort. I would expect no less for my brother-in-law to be. Norzelia is changing. The time when matters were settled by blade draws to a close. In the spirit of this age of diplomacy, I would hear your honest thoughts on the Mining Accord. Ooh, so we don't actually know that much about it. But uh, let's see what our choices are. I believe it is an important alliance that may bring harmony to our three nations. It is a lucrative enterprise that stands to benefit all our nations equally. I cannot shake the fear that our visions do not align, and this fragile alliance may not hold. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't really know anything about this guy. And I also don't really know much about the mining operation. I don't want to come across as, like, childish and not thoughtful. This seems too naive to me. This, I'm... Um, I feel like this implies all I care about is money, so I don't know about that one. And this might just piss him off. I don't like any of these choices. I guess we'll go with the nice one. I hope it doesn't come across as too naive, but let's see. I believe it an important alliance that may bring harmony to our three nations. Hmm, an uninspiring answer. And naive at that. There it is. Do you truly believe that each of our nations aspires to the same harmony? And what is it that you aspire to, Your Grace? Why, peace for all of Norzelia, of course. Peace and freedom for all its peoples to live as they please. Frederica, do not lose sight of your role in all of this. Stand by Serenoa always. Represent Esfrost with pride and grace. I shall, brother. Prince Roland, as you have come in secret, I will dispense with formalities. I appreciate the consideration, Your Grace. That said, does King Regna not worry that his younger son visits a foreign land on his own? I am no longer a child, and it is a prince's duty to be worldly. A fine outlook. In that case, I would show you to the archives. It holds countless tomes, from the ancient to the new. I dare say it rivals that of Hyzant's Ministry of Medicine. An intriguing offer, and one I gladly accept. Lord Wolfold, you and your men are free to join us as well. Truly, Your Grace? I understand the Archives hold many a closely guarded secret. And rest assured, I have no intention of giving those away. But now that we are allies, through mining and marriage alike, a brief tour is more than in order. Alright, so I think we should have gone with a third choice in that uh, option with uh, Gustadolf. But, that's alright. Beg your pardon. Who's this guy? But I oh, heard this is where the salt flows cheap like. Not here it doesn't. Go bother someone else. I'm not asking for my health. Here's an advance. How much do you need? As much as you can spare. I'm good for ten times what I gave you. I'm not to sell you now. Come back tonight, money in hand, to the spot marked here. And I know your face, so don't try anything stupid. You have my word.
That looks like the spot on the map. Just there. Right then, Sikris. I've got the location for you. This is where they do their dirty work. I knew you were the man for the job. Excellent work, Rudolph. My name's cleared then, yeah? I'll be pardoned? You have my word. That said, our forces are stretched quite thin this evening. We'll need you to assist in apprehending them as well. Risk my life in exchange for a pardon? Are you mad? We need you. These fiends are swindling the poor, selling them impure salt mixed with all manner of unsavory things. They must be jailed at all costs. Fine. I'll help you bring him in. Glad to hear it. You're too good a man to be branded a criminal. Don't you flatter me after all this. You saw him, didn't you? They don't work alone. An operation like this ain't run by one man. And last I checked, we're only two. We'll assemble reinforcements. Astounding collection of tomes. The sum of Norzelia's knowledge, including volumes thought lost or banned outright in other nations. I did not expect to see so many people in a facility so important. Each and every one is a scholar conducting important research in their field of expertise. Scholars? All of them? Brother gives no thought to background, gender, or social status during the selection process. All in Esfrost are given equal opportunity, provided they show desire and aptitude. Of course, we prize ability above all else. So long as they produce results, they are free to research as they please. Most open-minded approach. Indeed. I see now how Esfrost arrives at its marvels of engineering. This portion contains the collected writings on metallurgy and our nation's rich history with iron. Our ancestors were but a tribe of impoverished hunters until the man who would become our first Archduke discovered iron. Iron changed our lives. It transformed the way we worked, far built and fought. The history of iron is the history of Esfrost. It is our pride and joy, the engine that drives us. My father told us that Esfrost is made of iron, that neither its people nor weapons would bend. <laughs> Just so, Prince Roland. Your Grace. Forgive me the interruption. I have unfortunate news regarding the issue of which we spoke. So you require reinforcements. Say no more. Then there was the matter of the pardon. On which my thinking has not changed. We will speak no more of this. Understood. Honored guests, I would consult with you on an important matter. This is Sikris, commander of Esros Constabulary. Has something happened? We have discovered an illicit salt trade operating within our borders. Yet we lack, at the moment, the manpower to address it. Might we have your assistance in apprehending the Scofflaws? Why, I would... Lord Saranoa, matters of salt are fraught. I advise you not to engage without a clear strategy. I understand it is a complex issue. Needless to say, I would not force this upon you. <sighs> Sounds simple to me. Just bring in some criminals to justice, yeah? I say aye, my lord. I concur. What better way to thank His Grace for a tour of the Archives? It is settled. 
We shall help you. I could not be more thankful. Sikris, brief our friends on the situation. Of course, Your Grace. Come, I shall show you to the garrison. Oh boy, I'm glad I did not have to make that decision. I have no idea what I would have chosen. Constable Sikris, in charge of maintaining the peace of Ice Frost, has a secret matter to discuss with Sarah Noah. I'm honored to have House Wolford fight at our side. As I am happy to be of service. Now then, what is the situation? Eisen's successive salt taxes have given rise to an illicit salt trade that plagues the duchy. I have heard tell that the tariffs are exorbitant, but I have not heard a price. Let it suffice to say that the cost of a single handful of salt could feed a family for a month. But heavens! As such, demand for salt, even impure or stolen, is nigh on infinite. A crime, to be sure, but a necessary evil for the poor. Tight regulation risks drawing their ire. Perhaps we should not have agreed to this so readily. Indeed, the Archduke has a sharp mind and a silver tongue. My brother may appear generous and open-minded, but one should never feel too safe around him. I was too eager, my lord. And for that, I apologize. I was the one who agreed. Fraud as the matter is, I could not refuse the Archduke to his face. Illicit salt trade would threaten the salt revenue on which the duchy depends. Thus, they feel they must intervene. Correct? Precisely. We understand the plight of the people without question. On matters of maintaining order, however, we cannot waver, lest seams in the social fabric be rent asunder. I understand the circumstances and wish to reiterate that you have our support. How would you employ us? Our spy has already discovered where the smugglers operate. A transaction is to occur tonight. We shall make a move once our spy lures the smugglers into the open. Understood. Then we shall familiarize ourselves with the town by nightfall. I'd best get my bearings. Perhaps we walk the city and the archives. Perhaps a walk around the city and the archives is in order. Merchants. Some merchants are open for business. During the exploration phase, you may be selling rare items you'll not find at the Provisioner in the encampment. Oh, Provisioner in the encampment. It would be wise to speak with any shopkeepers you meet. Cool. Alright, so this is the guy. I have a duty to stamp out the illicit salt trade no matter how much ire I draw from the people in doing so. What good is the rule of law if I allow this to continue unhindered? The duchy would all but collapse. Cool. Alright, we're gonna explore everything. I'll take as much salt as this will buy. Aye, that'll get you this much. There you are. Is that all? I could swear it bought more. Costs more to get it now, I'm afraid. This is the best I can do. The illegal salt's only cheaper because it's dodging taxes. Of course, it's nowhere near as good. They're cutting it with inferior stuff. I don't know where they're getting it, but I'd be out of business if I sold at their prices. Interesting. I'll just steal whatever this is. Cool, cool. Wow, I really just walked into this guy's house and stole magic poison recovery stuff and money. Crazy. Alright, um, how do I want to do this? I think I want to knock out everything up in this corner first. 
Whoa, we're moving. The duchy spends a small fortune on salt imports, given the distance. Salt itself is ever more expensive, so they hire guards to protect it. Guards need to be paid. That cost is passed on to the people. Fair. Fair enough. Ooh, what's down here? No, oh, this just takes me over here. Welcome. How can I be of service today? Let's see what you got. Windstone. Deals a type of wind damage to a single enemy and spreads fire. Okay. I don't have that much money. Uh, yeah, nothing really here that interests me. Are these weapons? I feel like these are one-time use things. But I don't know. Let's see what I can sell. Oh, I need to equip that. Remedy is a poisoned ally. Eh. I think I want to keep all this stuff. And before I forget, I wait here something. Before I forget, I do want to equip my HP ring. Who do I put it on? Who's got the least health? Ironically, the healer. Hmm. I would totally hate putting it on her. She's pretty important. I'm gonna give it to her. Why not? Here you go, Gila. Hewitt says the constibu constabulary constabulary is conspicuously present. No doubt watching for signs of the illegal salt trading. Fair. Alright. Let's go up these stairs again. Uh, knock this part out. General Avalor's predecessor was a woman as well. She retired after the Salt Iron War, but she was a warrior the likes of which we'd never see again. Until General Avalor took her place, that is. Rumor has it she's the second coming. Cool, cool, cool. Enter the Ice Frost Archives? Oh, nah, not yet, not yet. We'll come back to that. I also saw... this. Added something. What did that say? I don't know. That's fine. It's fine. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. Secret item. HP recovery pellet! Yay! Did I see something glint up there? No? Must have just been a piece of snow. Lord Dragon is desperate to make his grand entrance on the political stage. We're desperate for his actions to match his ambition. Not that Thallus will formally recognize him. Dragon's on the wrong side of a fork in the bloodline two generations back. This path leads to the Ironstone. I cannot let you pass. That's fine. You'll find the Ironworks. Our pride and joy over in the Ironstone. The heat from it is what keeps us going. And the heat is the thing, see? It's what, it's what gives our iron the strength it's known for. Cool. What's this? Ooh, a Firestone. I think that's one of those uh, one-use items that I was talking about. Alright. Let's head down here. See what we got over here. I bet there's an item back here. Ah, another Firestone. Sweet. They'll pay you for as much iron as you can haul out of the mine. But it's not easy money. Comes with a tax paid in sweat and blood. Only in Ice Frost can you go to sleep a pauper and wake up richer than a prince. Okay. The Archduke respects our independence. It's our duty to prove we are worthy of such trust. Proper salt is expensive, yeah. But don't worry, I can save you some money if you like. Ooh, it's that guy. Let's go in here. 
Ooh, an old lady. Did you know that the Duchy's army has a contingent mounted, on, mounted on hawks? Makes fighting over the mountains easier, see? Cool. Nice speed recovery pellets. Anything back here? Nope. But a kitty. Hello. Alright. Time to talk to Frederica. How are you finding the Duchy, Sarah Noah? Has anything about our way of life caught your attention? The advantages that ironmongering affords the Duchy are quite evident. For all the freedom you enjoy, I could not help but notice the poverty of your people. I admire your commitment to education. Is it true that any and all may make use of the archives? Hmm. I don't know. I think it's between these two. I feel like this is that empathy that she likes, but she might take it the wrong way. We'll go with it. I shan't deny it. I shan't. Many of them say the salt tariffs drove them to ruin. Buildings our society around the iron mining and smelting has made us mighty, but not invulnerable. Our people are not guaranteed to find work at high wages. For example, we grant the freedom of opportunity, not success. Freedom and meteorocracy, meritocracy, do not easily mix, I see. Is that all you got? Yeah, hmm. It's this guy. Do you reckon they'll actually pardon me? Guess I'll find out, seeing as I've already agreed to help. So you're just talking saying that to random people cool we mustn't we must tighten security in the city if we stop even one sale of illicit salt it'll be worth it our spy tells us an illegal salt sale will take place here this very evening I feel like people aren't very good at hiding things here everyone knows that Lord Sav Svarog, Svarog is Archduke Gustadolf's uncle sure what they don't know is he'll never be an Archduke, for he's the son of a concubine. So, well, let's just leave it at that. Interesting. Alright. Nothing else in here. And we've kind of already been back here. I already talked to him. All right, so I think that's most of the town. Now we're going to the uh, to the archives. Yes, I would like to enter the archives. All right, Let's take a whole another town. Let's talk to Roland first. Have you heard the story of General Evlora? If the Duchy's soldiers are to be believed, she began a lowly foot soldier and rose all the way to general. Clearly, might and skill carry one quite far in the Duchy. I'd wager she's no match for the Dawn Spear, but she's a force to be reckoned with. I don't know about that. It did kind of seem like she was going to win that, and just gave it up in the tourney. What you got for me? Glenbrook Minor. Oh, interesting. I've come to study the mining techniques of the Ice Frosty, seeing as we'll be working side by side at the mines. And study I shall. Every tome I've opened has much to teach me. Good thing too, seeing as they pride themselves on their mining. Cool, cool. Alright. I wish there was a more medium camera angle. May I never again see destruction like that, the salt iron war unleashed upon Norzelia. It took many moons for the duchy and holy state to rebuild the capitals and diminish uh, domains in the aftermath. I shudder to think what would have become of the continent had Glenbrook not intervened. Indeed. At a children's textbook, Salt in Norzelia. I feel like I'm just stealing books at this point. On the symptoms of salt deficiency. Headaches, reduced circulation, 
palpitations of the heart. Severe cases resulted in patients losing consciousness. That is that is what salt will do to you. Well, the lack of salt, rather. All right. Guess that's all there is to see over here. You'll find no greater example of our ironworking prowess than the armor that adorns the Black Irons. No other nation can match the output of our foundries. We aim to keep it that way. Spoken like a true soldier, I cannot deny him pride in Duchy's achievements. I have no doubt the Black Irons are as formidable as he claims. Okay. This guy seems important. Researcher. All of us are researchers, yes. Ah. But what sort, and what truths do we pursue, hmm? Ask, and you may not find a common answer among us. Some shift focus as, a, as it suits the army, others pursue a single academic thread for decades. Tell me, as someone not of the duchy, how would you use such a collection of finely honed intellects? Research wisdom that last generations, it's all worthwhile. Knowledge should not be a vehicle for fame and fortune, all should be free to study what they please. I ask you in response, what joy is there in study that does not benefit the nation? Hmm. <laughs> um. Mm, the last generations, all of it is worthwhile. Knowledge should not be. This seems like a snobby response. I think I'm gonna go with the first choice. This I believe, as lord of my domain. I expected no less from the lord of the most famous high house in all of Glenbrook. You speak your mind where few others would dare. You are quite right, good sir. Absent unfettered research, I doubt our forebears would have blessed us with the gifts of the foundries. May I be so lucky as to repay your debt with them, to them with an equally worthy contribution to our great society. Cool. All right. Stairs are hard. What's up here? Can't go in there. What you got? Gila, the sheer number of tomes in the archives can be overwhelming as it is, and yet there are even more that will never see the light of day. A collection of tightly restricted works rests beneath the main archives. One needs special dispensa dis dispensation to even lay eyes on them. Hmm. Benedict, the duchy takes great pains to open wide the gates of knowledge and education. The people are free to pursue their studies as they see fit, and any may rise to prominence on their own merits regardless of station. This is undoubtedly one of the duchy's strengths. Cool. Is that something shining down there? the fire no that was just the fire all right cool obtained a magic ring Ooh, let's check that out I'm guessing plus 10 magic plus one that's fair increase the magic attack by one all right let's give it to uh, Frederica I think she's our only magic attacker right now Norzelia's lands and rivers, their compositions, qualities, and various other marvels. By Giovanna Capel. It's as thick as the title is wordy. I haven't time to read it all now. It's fair. Researcher, the goddess of salt's teaching, tells us that the Roselle must bear the stain of their collective sins from birth. Harsh. Real harsh. Added salt and something to the notes. I really need to stop pressing A. Alright, did I talk to this guy? I used to see a rather eccentric woman in here all the time, but she's not shown her face in many moons now. She was incredibly fond of rocks, as I recall, and intelligent beyond her years. I wonder what became of her. Indeed. Leave the archives? You betcha. Alright, I think that's everything to see. I don't think I've missed anything. 
So uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and conclude exploration there. I believe I have the lay of the land now. I should make my way back to Sir Secrus, Sir Secrus, and await nightfall. A battle, let's go. On a snowy night, Seekers and House Wolfort make their way to where an illicit exchange is about to take place. Let's do it. I'm so ready for this. Oh, another fight. Less talking, more fighting. That's the bell at Ironstone. It's midnight. The exchange is about to take place. We'll make ourselves known once the smugglers have assembled. Might that be one of the smugglers there? No, that's Rudolph, a spy of ours. He helped us uncover this operation. A reformed salt smuggler himself. Whom you now employ as an informant. Few would understand the landscape better than someone on the inside. Most ingenious. That was part of my reasoning. But there is more to it. His intentions were noble even as his actions broke the law. He's not at his core an evil man. I say that as an officer whose instincts were honed over many an arrest. Which is why I personally selected him to be my eyes and ears. Hmm. The smugglers are here, and they come in numbers. As frosty soldiers? What are they doing here? Corrupted by the siren song of money in the black salt market, no doubt. Would it were not so. But my eyes do not deceive me. The fight will not be easy. How shall we proceed? This cannot be allowed to continue. If that means bloodshed, then so be it. Understood. Then we make our move. Who are you? This is the constabulary. Lay down your arms and come quietly if you value your lives. A trap! Kill them all! Tell the soldiers and give chase. Don't let them escape. Rudolph, you're to follow his orders. And just who is he exactly? Sereno Wolford of Glenbrook. The Archduke personally requested my help. What? The young Lord of House Wolford? Look, I'm grateful for the help, but don't muck it up, yeah? My good name hangs in the balance. I think we're gonna need to use the whole town. So that's kind of cool. Unit placement. Decimate the enemy forces. Lose all allied forces is the defeat condition. S weather snow, wind breezing. Okay, so the victory condition is not to not let them escape. I thought that would be in there somewhere, but it uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's do it. Unit placement. There's a limit to the number of units you may deploy in battle. Units over this threshold will go into your reserves and will not participate in battle. Interesting. Use the X button to access the screen where you can change deployed and reserved units. Cool. Recommended units. Units that may prove essential, essentially, ooh, especially helpful in battle are marked recommended. There is no penalty if you do not deploy the recommended units. Okay. X. Let's see what we got. Recommended. Recommended, recommended. I think everybody's already in there. Oh no, she's not. And he's not. Hmm. Okay. Then let's pull, uh... Ooh, I liked Anna, though. At Definitely want Huet. We'll deploy her. Does it tell me how many I can deploy? Oh, it just won't let me. 
Okay. Well, I'm fine without having him. Like, he's cool and all, but... Nah. Alright, let's do it. So let's move people, shall we? What do we got? Let's take a look around the map. Doesn't look like those guys are anywhere. There's an enemy there. Several down here in the uh, in the alleyway. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. Who's this guy? This guy seems important. It's Rossi Shield Bear. Okay. And they're all swordsmen. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, I think. I think I want to take out the guys that are down here first. So let's go ahead and move Roland. Get him down here in the front. Let's get, uh... Hmm. Could drop a firebomb here to hit two of them. Or here to hit three of them. Yeah, let's get Frederica down there too. Put her there. Um... I don't get to move him. Then let's get Anna down here as well. Three down there seems good. Where can she move? Can she move to another rooftop? No, not yet. Okay, then she's fine. All right, looks good to me. Let's begin the battle. All right, it's been a while. It'll be fine. It's fine. Let's go. Subduing the smugglers. The battle begins. The Dutch is beyond saving if the soldiers have stooped to smuggling. The rod's too deep now. I've no intention of defending them, but their poverty leaves them few options. They're still human, after all. I expect you'll put that sympathy aside if it comes to blows. For the good of the duchy, yes. Any who resist shall taste my blame. Simulation mode. You can enter simulation mode by pressing A on a unit other than yourself. This allows you to test the consequences of various actions on the selected unit without actually performing. Okay, cool. Your orders. Alright. Anna goes first. Um... I guess I'm just gonna get her right into the fray. When I can throw poison, let's do that. Throw poison at him. Nice. Uh, I can do it again. Throw more poison. Yeah. All right, Andy's poisoned. Stay there. A bowman. Okay. For victory. That hurt a lot. Okay. Let's go ahead and get. Let's try and take out one guy at a time. You don't stand a chance. That seems good to me. The hunt is on. All right, Hewett. What can you hit from here? Oh, a lot of stuff. Um, let's try and blind the bowman. Sure. From this range. Nice. My pride is my blind. shield. Hewett levels up. Awesome. Forward march. Don't get Ooh, they sloppy. Do a lot of damage. Our victory is assured. Yay, Sereno is stronger. Alright, Rudolph. Oh, I get to act for him. Interesting. He is a hunter. Okay. Well, let's move right here. Longbow. Deal physical damage to a single foe. Deal physical damage to a single enemy. Straight shot. Does a lot of damage. And steel trap. Set a trap on a selected square that will deal physical damage at the end of the turn uh, Anyone who's, to anyone who steps on it. Oh, and in the turn of anyone who steps on it. Up to three traps can be set. Okay. I think I'm just going to shoot somebody. 
Yeah. All of these seem like good choices. I think that's telling me that I'll hit like a corner or something and it won't, it won't hit anything. Alright. Well, let's get our critical. Aim and fire! How about that? Nice. So where shall we strike? Sarah Noah, get in there and finish them off. The sand's here! Good stuff. I shall try my level best. Alright, Benedict. Um let's get down here. We'll bulwark. I guess rolling. A brief rest. He's taking some damage. Splendid. Tight. And face that way. Shield slam. Oh, he pushed me back. I shall do what I can. Okay. She needs to heal somebody. Um, honestly, I think this guy's the most hurt. Can I heal him? Ooh, Rudolph. Rudolph took some heat, too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna heal Rudolph. Allow me. Cheers. Alright. Allow me. Alright, Frederica. Torch. Right there looks good. Two ashes. Bam, hit them both. Puddles will form when it rains. A fire attack is cast on a frozen square. An attack, an ice attack is cast on a square set of blades, with exceptions. Electrifying puddles. The effect of lightning attacks will travel through puddles, damaging all units standing upon them. Puddles will form when it rains. Sorry, I jumped. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. Something different, but it makes sense. Wow, there's a lot of people. Mm, that one hurt. They got me. Orders. All right, I do think I'm gonna stick with uh, killing people as fast as I can, just because there's so many different folks. Um. All right, let's see here. He's almost dead, and he takes damage. It looked like he took poison damage before he attacked. So I can probably just leave him alone and he'll die. So I'm gonna focus on the shield bearer. Oh, I see. I thought I was rolling. I am Anna. So then we will stay here. And dagger dagger. Ooh, that didn't do a whole lot. Let's try a poison. Oh, that was the wrong person. Oh well. They're poison. It's fine. Already. The hunt is on. All right, Huet. Let's see. Blinding arrow. Not a ton of damage. Sixty-three to fifty-four. Sixty-three to fifty-seven. Let's do that since we have a chance to blind him. Um, let's move you. Try and get you towards the other section. Move you down here for now. I won't lose! Alright, Roland. Let's get you in the fight here. 
My lance strikes true. Let's take out the shield bear. He's pretty tough. Poor guy's Damn blind it. and poisoned. No! From where shall we strike? Ouch. Alright, Sarah Noah. Um. Yeah, I guess you're gonna be helping out Rudolph. Let's get in there. And just, uh, whack people. Yeah! Uh oh, Roland. Uh oh, Roland. <laughs> we must Ooh, never he's yield. Halt! What now? Okay, Rudolph. Let's uh. You have a bow. I'm gonna move you up to here, and you're gonna eat a. Recovery pellet. Yep. Here it goes. There is no Good mercy for me. on the battlefield. Alright, I'm not gonna attack this guy. What I am gonna do is move up to here and put Raging Beast on Anna. I have your back. This is Okay. Good, good to me. Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gila dead. Gila big dead. The truth. Eludes me. Okay. No. I fight for peace. All right, Frederica. Let's see what we can do here. I guess you'll just kill this guy before he gets any more stupid opportunity attacks. Although, that guy's up next. Nah. We're gonna just move down here and uh, start wailing. We can win this. You're open. We will make our ideals reality. Level up. Ouch. Alright, he's dead. Cheeky bastard. Man. Roland takes some damage. Time to work. Alright, Anna. Let's uh let's get you to throw some poison at this guy, I think. This'll hurt. One more! We can win this! You Do it again. My turn! We can win this! Okay. Seems good. Let's uh, get you on the move. Let's see. He's nearly dead. Sarah No is nearly dead. And Rudolph is definitely nearly dead. So, you know, I guess we'll just uh, stick you up here. They got me. It's not over yet. All right, Roland. Can you kill this guy? Not quite, but poison then will kill him. So we'll do that. Ooh, I only have one pip. Hmm. All right. Got to do it. Oh, I should have moved across. I should have moved to here first. That sucks. Oh well. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll move to here, facing this way. The hunt is on. All right, Hewitt. This is your chance. I want to move here. Man, everywhere I wanted to move with her, I cannot move. I 
That sucked. Alright, well... I mean, I guess you can go... up this way? She'll take some serious damage, though. Stay there, then. That's all I got. Um... Good move you here. That seems like a decent move. And let's just work on... I guess this guy. Oh, I can't do that. Is there a minimum range? So if I move you, like, here? Nice. Then I can do it. Okay, cool. Yeah. This battle is your won. error is your downfall. Alright, that felt like a good one. Ha! Oh, missed him. Woo! For the honor of House Wolfort. Sarah Noah, Sarah Noah, Sarah Noah. Let's get you a little bit out of there. Um. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna move you to heat. No. I'll move you down. Actually, we'll attack first. Is there anybody I can kill? Not really. Alright, well, let's just get you to knock out this guy. And then move you down to here. Alright, he's dead. Got me. Defeated by a bunch of ruffians. What a disgrace. It's tough, man. This isn't over yet. Okay, Rudolph. Where can you move? Literally nowhere. You're boxed in, huh? That sucks a lot. Okay, well. We'll use you while we can. This guy's turn's coming up, so is this guy. I wouldn't mind killing him. Uh, is that telling me that I would not hit him? I would hit the other guy instead? Hmm. I'm not sure what that's telling me. So I'm gonna shoot this guy and find out what that's telling me. Oh, I can't. Okay. Can't shoot him either. Well, let me shoot the guy right I'll send you fly it. it will. Well, that's all I got. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Okay, Benedict. That guy should die of poison. But, uh, just in case he doesn't, well, can I move him up here and get him to use HP recovery pellet on Roland? Yes, I can. Let us reverse Save. our fortunes. That's the play. Uh-oh, Sarah Noah. And you're out. Good enough. Man, this is a tough fight. Not a chance. Ooh, no. I fight for peace. Okay. Let's get you up here. And scorch. Let's see, where are we scorching? I think it's here. This is my best shot. Um Yeah, that's what I got. Blaze, heed my call. Damn it! 
there's a bunch of them down by Roland. Alright, it's been real. It's been real, Rudolph. Get between me and my freedom. I think I'm gonna lose this. Okay, he's dead. I will end this. Okay, Anna. I don't really have a good spot for you. I guess we'll get you down here. Kill this guy. It's over. And then throw some poison at this guy. Suffer. That's it. That's what I got. My turn. All right, Roland. Let's see here. Double thrust is not going to kill anybody. Ooh, but this guy. This guy can die. So here's the plan. Move him over to here. Lance. Hit both of them. Be gone. Did you see that? Nice. Onward and upward. Roll and learn to rush. Cool. This battle we'll check is it ours. out next time. Okay, Hewett. What's your move, huh? I guess we'll get you up top. Out of harm's way. And... Blinding arrow? Honestly, these guys are doing a lot of damage. So I think I want to work on taking them out. Yeah, that's it. Ooh, Miss Frederica. Thank goodness. That's gonna hurt. Rolling dead. Not quite. But he's about to be. Lundbrook is in your head. Oh, There's no man. mercy on the battlefield. That sucks. Alright, Benedict. Let's get you down here. And hmm. We're gonna raise defense on uh, on Anna. Let us steal our defenses. This is. Yep, that's it. Let me show you what I've learned. Okay. Do I have a Scorch? I do. Um, dropping it here seems to be the best. Well, either one of these. That would kill one of them. Almost kill the other. I think that's it. With the powers in me. And then we'll move you. I think out of range of everybody seems smart. Yeah. Your orders. All right, Anna. Let's iron dagger this one. It's over. And then throw poison, I guess, at this guy. You want to stay? Yeah, that's, that's what I got. All right. And we'll end your turn facing up. Not a ton of damage. Alright, you're good where you are. Let's hit somebody with our bow. Hmm. This guy's poison, so he should die from the poison if I hit him. So I like that. And we'll have you just move down a space. Uh -oh, poison arrow. 
Not as much damage as I was worried about. Okay, okay. Alright, we're still in it. We need Benedict to probably not die. So, I'm gonna have him take a... HP recovery pellet. Yep. Now. Okay, and then we're gonna move him back against the wall. Facing this way. My turn. Alright, Anna. He's almost dead. Not him. Not him. None of these guys. Kinda that guy, honestly. So I think this tells me if I move here, only the archer can hit me. Oh no, the two guys down there could. Ugh, I really want to take out that archer, but I don't think I can do it right now. So I'm gonna move here. Yeah, that's all I can really do. So we'll iron dagger him once. I'd really like to do it again, but I need to keep her alive. So I'm debating taking a recovery pellet. I think that's the move. I'll take this. Let me show you what I've learned. All right, Frederica. Deals fire type damage to a single enemy and sets the ground ablaze. So if I move her up to like here. Nope. What about to here? It's not a lot of damage, but it's something. Yeah. This power will protect us. Learn flame shield. Okay. All right. That's it. Yeah. This battle is ours. Okay, Huet. Short bow. Let's do it. Let's kill this guy. Nice. My pride is my shield. Stay there. Uh oh, Frederica. She's all right. She's all right. The archer might kill her. Uh oh. That's not what you want to see. All right, it's three to three. Let's work on the shield bear. I think I want to poison him. Let's use this. Suffer. All right, Follow my lead. Um. Yeah, let's just go ahead and iron dagger him. Yeah. My stratagem is superior. My knowledge grows deeper. Alright. Okay, Benedict. I think I'm just gonna have you move to like here. And can you bulwark on yourself? You can. Stay composed. Sweet. Oh, and Huet gets to go again? Nice. I think I just want damage at this point. Yeah. This battle is won. Stay there. You're doing good. Huet seems really good in these multi-level battles. <clears throat> Only one damage, that's okay. Time to work. Interesting. Okay, Anna. Let's uh, keep working on this guy. So you'll stay there. And Iron Dagger. Iron Dagger. <laughs> Sounds oh, the poison strike. should kill him next turn. Cool. Alright, that's fine. Let's 
get uh, let's get him down here and bulwark on Anna again. A brief respite. You have my thanks. Now, does that take away my bulwark? Doesn't look like it. That's good. Time to take flight. Huet, short bow. Shoot this guy. Stay there. I will end this. All right, let's move you. Guess up to here. And then you can just start wailing on this guy. Yeah. He's dead. I, shall try I think we got this one. Best. Let's get you back here. And just hit him with your cane sword. Your defense is just as I planned. Win. Nice. Time to take flight. All right, just the archer left. Let's get you to go pick up these spoils. And then end your turn for some reason. I can't attack. Okay, maybe it's because he's on a higher level. Your orders. All right, Anna. You're gonna move down here, and in your turn, I shall try my level best. It's all about getting in range now. Actually, I'm gonna move you here, and also bulwark. Stay on. composed. This is wonderful. All right, let's get you up here and shoot this guy. Yeah. Perfect. Time to work. You can go get these spoils. Fine. There is no mercy on the battlefield. We'll work on yourself again. Stay composed. Oh man. I really thought we were in trouble this fight, and we almost were, but these three are actually a really good team. Huet seems kind of busted, just being able to sit way up high and snipe people. But, you know, we love busted. All right, let's end it. This ends now. It doesn't now. You're correct, you are correct, Hugo. Victory. Results: 39 kudos obtained, 480 coin. Nice. We're in your debt, but may never have apprehended the smugglers if not for you. Aye, that's another worry off your back. And a criminal charge off mine, yeah? His Grace has granted your pardon, on the condition of your exile. If he can't have me in jail, he wants me out of Asfrost, is that it? Forgive me. It's not the choice I would have made, but the Archduke is a stubborn man. Don't worry. The feeling's mutual. Never had any love for this place, even if it's all I've known. Got nowhere to go either, mind you. But I'll find my way somewhere. Well, if you've truly nowhere to go, what would you say to serving House Wolfort? Hmm? You're the lord of your house, aren't you? And you just welcome a criminal like me into your ranks? You've been pardoned, have you not? That makes you as worthy as any other. Your wits and muscle would be a boon to the house, and I would be grateful for your service. 
What more could you ask for, Rudolph? You can make a new life for yourself at House Wolfwood. I'm sure of it. I, I'm sure I can. Right then, Lord Saranoa, I thank you for your kindness. Welcome to House Woolfort, Rudolph. We got Rudolph, let's go! Rudolph boasts a suite of bow skills. Sets traps capable of damaging foes. I didn't get to exper experiment with that. So we'll try it out next time, probably. I definitely like him more than the shield bear guy. All right, I know I said I was gonna try and do one chapter or part of a chapter per uh, per episode, but I think I'm gonna end this one there. So we'll have a little bit more to go in this part of the chapter next time, but that's okay. Well, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope we'll see you in the next episode of Slice Plays Triangle Strategy.